Pack my parka, Duckworth. We're headed for the Himalayas to hunt for the lost crown of Genghis Khan. Shall I forward your call, sir? Gee, can I come, Uncle Scrooge? I want to see the pretty Himalayan marmots. Oh, not this time, Whippy, darling. I need you here looking after the boys. Otherwise, who knows what kind of trouble they might get into. Oh, that's very smart. Uncle Scrooge! Indulge me, lads. The last thing this expedition needs is a wheel lass about. Oh, I'm going to have enough trouble looking after the launch pad. Launchpad. I told you to land in the center of the mountain range, not in the center of a mountain. Gee, Mr. McTee, I thought that crash was rock solid. The only rocks around here are the ones inside your head. Ugh, we're nowhere near Shadow Pass and the Lost Crown. Now fix this wreck so we can get airborne and step on it, lad. I'm paying you by the hour, and I'll may have you billing me for overtime. No problem, boss. As long as I have this fuel regulator, we're as good as... Whoopsie-daisy! Oops. <laughs> uh, my mom always said I was a Butterfingers. <laughs> oh, no. Please tell me you've got another one of those. Sure I do. <laughs> but it's back in Duckburg. Launch pad! Don't worry, Mr. McDee. I'll climb down and get it. You'll do no such thing. I'll get it. You stay here and try not to cause any more damage. Okay, you're the boss. Last it. My feet are turning to icicles. This is easy. Here now, don't touch that. I need it to fix my plane. Stop! Oh, it's too late. Those bunny bandits have torn it apart. I've got to find those pieces fast.
morning glory. <laughs> now to find the other two pieces. It's Bubba Duck. Looks like that poor little pea brain got caught in a deep freeze. Whoa, what happened? Scrooge! Ooga Ooga! Scrooge saved Bubba! There, there, little fella. Uncle Scrooge is here to help. Scrooge saved Bubba! Scrooge saved Bubba! Scrooge saved Bubba! Bubba helps Scrooge! Bubba helps Scrooge forever! You know, I could use a bit of help smashing away this giant icebox. What do you say, Bubba? Ooga Ooga! In that case, follow me, lad! the end of the line, Bubba. It's time for you to head to the surface. Bubba home with Scrooge? Aye. Launch pad is waiting to take you home to Duckburg. On your way now. Now, where did you come from? Why, from home, of course. I had to be sure you were all right in this filthy place. Oh, thank you kindly, dear. Go on, Mr. McDuck. No need to worry about me. Diamonds 
size of uh, 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 Mrs. Bigley. It's the second piece of the fuel regulator. One more piece to find and we can get out of this overgrown icebox. of the ducks! The last one! Now to get this fuel regulator back to launch pad. Here you go, Launchpad. Good as new. Now get this bucket of bolts back in the sky. Just a tick, Mr. McDee. Uh, this... Uh, order... Do it! Now there's your problem. Webbergale! What in the world are you doing here? I wanted to see the pretty crown of the Scrooge. Oh, great. Now I've got to babysit you and Launchpad. Uncle Scrooge, you're not like the boys, are you? You don't think I'm just a worthless tag along, do you? We're ready for liftoff, Mr. McDee. Ah, not a moment too soon. Stop in tight, Webby dear. Off we go. Nothing but blue skies ahead. Clear as a bell. Not a cloud in sight. Launchpad, knock off that infernal chatter. Gee whiz. I was only trying to lighten the mood. If anything, we need to lighten the plane. Feels like she's lost maneuverability with all the, uh, unexpected cargo we seem to have picked up. No worries, Mr. McDee. I've got the coordinates for Shadow Pass locked in. We'll be there lickety-split. More like lickety-splat. Glomgold! Nice to see you, McDuck. Especially since you've led me right to the treasure. To whom do I owe my thanks? Your idiotic pilot! Or did you play it safe and let those two wee ones fly the plane? You dirty cheat! Only you could sink so low! And at 15,000 feet, no less. Complain all you like, 
The lost crown of Genghis Khan will look right at home on my feathered noggin. Wouldn't you say, Scroogey? <laughs> That's what you think. You'll never beat us to Shadow Pass. So, the crown is in Shadow Pass, eh? Thanks for telling me. <laughs> Launch pad! Come on, boys! One old duck with a cane shouldn't be any trouble to take down! Ouch! Comes a ten megaton finders fee, McDuck. Like this, you have to buy a ticket. Try it the other way around and I couldn't agree more, Webby. Pickle me, pin feathers. There it is. Shadow pass directly ahead. Take us down, launch pad. Slow and steady this time. No problem, old Mr. McD. We're close to that treasure now. I can almost smell it. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> then what was it? That definitely wasn't me. Whatever it is, it won't last long if it tries to get between me and the lost crown. Uncle Scrooge, don't go. Don't worry, lassie. Whatever is in that cave is no match for your Uncle Scrooge. I earn my fortune by being smarter than the smarties and tougher than the toughies. If anything's in there, it had better step aside. But I'm scared. Stay with Launchpad. He'll take good care of you. Stay with Launchpad? Gee, now I'm extra scared. How oh dare you!
Dinner skills are. Like. Be nice, Uncle Scrooge. That poor fuzzy lady didn't mean any harm, did you, ma'am? <laughs> ma'am, don't be daft, lass. This monster tried to pummel me. Why, I nearly cashed my last check. <laughs> oh, I know, ma'am. But Uncle Scrooge is really nice once you get to know him. <laughs> Webby, you understand this creature? Of course, Uncle Scrooge. It's all in a Junior Woodchuck guidebook. <laughs> What's she saying now? She says she's sorry if she hurt you. She's just upset because she stepped on a thorn and can't get it out. A thorn? <gasps> you don't suppose... Here's your thorn, Webigail. <laughs> the lost crown of Genghis Khan. The pretty crown. <laughs> you found it. Hey, the poor creature was standing on it. Webby, I cannot thank you enough. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Without your help, we never would have found the treasure. Oh, uh, and thanks to you too, ma'am. <laughs> She likes you, Uncle Scrooge. Yeah, that's odd. Usually it's me the ladies go gaga for. Hey, well, let's get home before she grows any fonder of me. <laughs> <laughs>